Hey everybody, it's Beth. Today I'm using this plastic bunny and frame from Dollar Tree. I started with the frame and I took a baby wipe and some cottage white chalk paint and I just used the wipe to apply the chalk paint around the edges and the inside and sides of the frame with just one coat to give it kind of a whitewash look. I use the same chalk paint for the bunny and the bunny comes with a front and back and I'm just using the front and I take the white chalk paint and I apply it with a sponge. It seems to get better coverage, especially on the plastic and I give that two coats. Once that's completely dry, I take a matte varnish by Waverly and I apply that to the bunny and this will help prevent the paint from chipping. You could also use a Mod Podge, that'll work just as well. Next, I take this scrapbook paper, which I got from Hobby Lobby, and kind of just set it inside my frame and fold the paper inside the frame to get my lines for cutting. And then I just set it back in the frame to make sure it fits and I did end up having to trim it just a tiny bit on one side. And then take Mod Podge and apply a generous layer of that on the center of the frame, making sure to get on all the corners and the edges. And then I also just add some Mod Podge to the back of the paper on the corners just to make sure those will be stuck down in case I didn't get it all the way in there. I smooth it out with my hands and then I take my heating tool and just dry that layer, pushing down on the paper as I go to make sure that it was fully adhered. Once that's completely dry, I do another layer of Mod Podge on top of the scrapbook paper, again using my heating tool to dry that. Next, I'm taking some twine and I wrap it around the neck of the bunny. I tie it in a knot on the back and leave some excess and then wrap it around a few times and then cut off a piece and just tie it onto that original piece that I had left long. I then take this burlap flower and I believe I got it from Amazon and I'm just hot gluing it in a few different spots. I didn't want to hot glue it down on the center because it would just be kind of folded in half with the shape of the bunny. So I just hot glued some of the petals down and then hot glued some tumbling tower blocks on the back of the bunny, on the ears, and then again on the bottom. This will just help attach it to my frame. And then hot glue those tumbling blocks and the twine and place it on the center of the frame. And that's it for this project. Thank you so much for watching.